Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for Saturday, March 12th. Let's go to the pages. For the breviary, our hymn today is 47, first antiphon onwards, 1200, reading 141. Christian prayer book is hymn 92770 for the first antiphon, 288 for the reading. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, Come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take up your cross, the Savior said, if you Dawn finds me ready to welcome you, my God. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Dawn, Dawn finds, finds me, me ready, ready to, to welcome, welcome you, you, my God. God. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise, for he has become my Savior. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. At a breath of your anger the waters piled up. The flowing waters stood like a mound. The flood waters congealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall despoil them. When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like lead, they sank in the mighty waters. Who is like to you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like to you, magnificent in holiness? O terrible, renowned, worker of wonders, 
When you stretch out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your mercy, you led the people you redeemed. In your strength, you guided them to your holy dwelling. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord is, is my strength, and I shall sing his praise, for he has become my Savior. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, oh, praise, praise the Lord, Lord all, all you nations. nations. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Good morning, my dear friends. This Saturday, our gospel is from Matthew chapter 5, <clears throat> 43 to 48. So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. That's what Jesus asked us to do. Jesus focused our attention on how to love our neighbor. As a backdrop to his word today, we ought to keep in mind Jesus two grand command, great commands to love God and to love our neighbor. We also need to remember his parable about the Good Samaritan and his point concerning who exactly our neighbor is. Jesus is teaching us not only not to hate our enemies, but to consider them our neighbors. It's very difficult nowadays. But not, last night I was watching on the news the Russian bombarding a maternity hospital where moms and kids were killed. Very hard to consider that coming from a neighbor. To appreciate this, Jesus pointed in impartiality of God treatment of human beings, even on the natural level of life. Your heavenly father makes his, his son rise on the bad and the good. So also his son died and rose for the bad and the good of supernatural level. The last sentence of today's gospel sums up this section from the Sermon of the Mount. So be perfect just as your heavenly father is perfect. Here we see Jesus drawing his two great commands ever closer. We cannot love our God any more than we love our neighbors. If I am excluding others from the definition of my neighbors, then to that extent, I am excluding God from my life. This is so because God extends his love to every person. 
No person can ever be God forsaken, but only me forsaken. But if I forsake another, it is not only that others lost, but mine as well. So my brothers and sisters, God loves each of us. We need to, to develop our faith and grow in that love in our hearts that we are over the natural situation of the human beings and bringing our holy side, ourself, to be perfect as our Father is perfect. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God, God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God, God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. If you want to be true children of your Heavenly Father, then you must pray for those who persecute you and speak ill kinds of evil against you, says the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised to hold that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If, if you, you want, want to be true children of your Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, then you must pray for those who persecute you and speak all kinds of evil against you, says the Lord. To make us His new creation, Christ the Lord gave us the waters of rebirth and spread the table of his body and his word. Let us call upon him and say, Lord, Lord renew, renew us in your grace. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, clothe us with compassion, kindness, and humility. Make, Make us want to be patient with everyone. Teach us to be true neighbors to all in trouble and distress. And, and so, so imitate you, the Good Samaritan. May the Blessed Virgin, your mother, pray for all those who vowed to a life of virginity, that, that they, they may deepen their dedication to you and to the Church. Grant us the gift of your mercy. Forgive our sins and remit our punishment. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our dear Savior Jesus Christ.
Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we say, Lord, Lord renew, renew us, us in your grace. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Father, turn our hearts to you by seeking your kingdom and loving one another. May we become a people who worship you in spirit and truth. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May, May the, the Lord, Lord bless us, protect, protect us from, from all evil. evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great day.